Hey guys, quick case study, sort of, something that comes up very commonly is someone complaining about pain in their palm, especially when they're asleep at night, burning sensation through the hand. Uh, what, this just happened, someone asked me about it, so I, want, I was a little inspired and it's something that comes up a lot. Um, a, when it's kind of following certain patterns, uh, it definitely tells me there's something going on in the neck, when it's numb and tingly, nerve sensation stuff, and this is not medical advice for you, this is uh, for informational purposes only, there's my disclaimer. Um, but yeah, when there's stuff going on and it's kind of through certain patterns, C6, neck, C7, cervical spine, seven, and C8 along that pinky side, um, oversimplification to some extent, but when you present this way to me, when you tell me this is your problem, especially at night, I wanna figure out, we can definitely start addressing some of that. We can start seeing, is there something clogging those nerves somewhere along the chain? Can we get you moving those nerves better before bed? Um, is there something we can do in your bed? And not me and you, buddy, uh, but something in the bed where we can change the pillow, we can change the firmness of the mattress. Is that gonna change what's going on here? Is there a pinch going on at night? Do we need to find something to address the symptom so we can improve the symptoms for now, whether that's with dry needling, body work, different stretches. But then we also wanna make sure we're looking at the root cause and we're still clearing your neck and checking, do you have the strength in your neck? Which is often, we don't think about it, it's not taxed very often. So when it comes to tapping in to these specific muscles here, uh, we want to do a pretty thorough assessment, especially when we're talking about the neck and numbness and tingling. That's stuff that we want to really address sooner than later. If you have questions on this, if you know somebody dealing with neck issues with numbness, tingling down the arm, same thing down the leg, a lot of these concepts apply when we're talking about nerves, let me know. Shoot me a message. We'll talk. I'm happy to do a virtual consultation, do an in-person consultation in the Boulder, Denver area here in Colorado. I love doing this. I love talking about it. I love helping people get out of this pattern of pain. And again, what I have seen, not to throw any professions under the bus or anything like that, but what I've seen in these situations is you can go, you can have these symptoms addressed. You can even go through your insurance model of physical therapy. You can kind of deal with these symptoms right now, but I don't feel like more often than not, I feel like that these underlying causes do not get addressed. We're not talking about your fitness of your neck. So these symptoms will reoccur, and if they do reoccur, um, they tend to be worse. So I'm not trying to, you know, doomsday the whole thing. However, I wanna caution folks, and this is my passion, this is what I do, if you can't tell. Um, I want to help people avoid going through these steps. So uh, for Mike, who I'm making this video for, I hope you, uh, it sound like you're ready to go anyway, but I just wanna give you a little additional uh, insights into this. And then for anyone else watching, I wanted to take this opportunity to say, this is something I see a lot. If you know someone, again, suffering from this, dealing with this, if you yourself have dealt with this or are dealing with this, let's talk sooner than later. Again, if we do something virtually, we can just chat and then I can maybe direct you to somebody in your city or neck of the woods, or we can do some stuff virtually. So anyway, uh, this is my terrible sales car, car salesman speech. I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you got 1% better from this video, from today, from anything, and we'll talk to you next time.